Dream? Yes. Do you always have dreams like this? I do. But this time it was different. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm here. Thank you. I'm sure it was just nothing. I'll be all right. Well, if everything is all right, we must get ready for our first class today. Potions! Should be right over here. Sebastian, wait up! You almost late again, Ollie? In no way. I'm always respectfully on time. Who is that? Oh, that's Ollie Cabot, an American exchange student from Ilvermorny School of Wizardry. They have a school in America? They do. His father got promoted to work within the Ministry of Magic in London. He's also Sebastian's best friend, a Slytherin and a Hufflepuff. Completely opposite, if you ask me. Here we are, potions class. We can sit right here. Sit down, everyone, so we may begin. All right, today we will be creating Babbling Beverage. As the name suggests, this potion causes the drinker to babble absolute nonsense. Though this seems interesting to drink, we will not all be drinking it. Rather, the team with the best potion concoction of Babbling Beverage will be able to keep a small portion of the created mixture for themselves. Now. I will not tolerate foolishness while doing foolish things, Mr. Sallow, Mr. Cabot. I'm looking at you. So make sure you follow directions and put the proper ingredients in your team's cauldron. Open your potion books to page 26. You may begin. I don't know why she's always after us. Haven't got the slightest, really. I bet she's going to try and split us up. Oh, and Sallow, please work with our new fifth year, and Cabot, please work alongside Miss Wolfric for today, thank you. Called it. Oh no. Well, good luck, Amelia. Pardon me, Jacinda. Ollie is waiting for you. Yes, I know. Hmm. Where should we start? Well... It says here to first put dried billywig stings in a rumpant stings and allow to boil for 10 minutes, continuously stirring counterclockwise, allowing the potion to cool to room temperature, and then add armadillo bile and stir five times counterclockwise. Lastly, to add leech juice and stir 20 times counterclockwise. Seems easy enough. So how was your first night in the Ravenclaw common room? I've heard it's just all full of books and hard riddles. Books, yes. Hard riddles. Well, I guess you just have to be logical enough to solve them. Hmm. Well, I guess you're right. What about yours? You're curious about my common room. Yes. Is that a problem? Well, no one really asks about the Slytherin common room, as we like to keep things pretty secret. But the Slytherin common room was founded by Salazar Slytherin, who demanded the Slytherin house to only have pure blood wizards and witches in it. Are you pure blood? I am, actually. My family comes from a long line of pure bloods, but that is not a requirement to get into the Slytherin house. It was just what Salazar Slytherin wanted. Word around the school is that years ago, after Salazar was denied his entry requirements, he built a chamber right under the school. There is also a rumor that when he died, his bones were placed there as the last wish he had. For reasons, nobody knows. Well, is there a chamber? And has it ever been opened? Some believe there is a chamber, yes. And some believe it has been opened once. But no one knows for sure exactly. I'll be right back, Ollie. Don't do anything with our potion, okay? Why would I do anything with the potion? Maybe. Hmm, I think I'll just... Don't do it, Ollie. What's it going to hurt? Professor Morgana isn't even looking. Watch this. Hmm, I don't know. Nothing's happening. 
for the love of Merlin. Tell me you didn't drink our potion. Oh, he did. And he added a little bit more to it, too. Sebastian, you're supposed to have my back. Well, seeing that you don't know what will... Are you okay, Ollie? I'm fine, Wibble Wobble, you will yes. And here we go. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Ollie, you're growing fur. Furble Wibble on Mebble. Sheeble. Mr. Ollie Cabot. Oh, damn it. I see you have refused to listen and follow directions within your potion textbook. Ms. Wolfric, please escort Mr. Cabot to the hospital wing to see the nurse. Yes, ma'am. For the rest of you, I will be coming around to see who exactly followed the correct directions. I hope Ollie's okay. He'll be fine, I'm sure. Experimenting is something he loves to do, but he seems to always get in trouble for it in some way. I see. Well, let's hope we didn't experiment too much ourselves and got this potion correct. Hmm. It seems you two are an ideal match when it comes to partners. Well done, everyone. But there can only be one winner today. Both Mr. Sallow and Ms. Enderith clearly know how to concoct the perfect brew of babbling beverage. Ten points to both Slytherin and Ravenclaw, as well as a small vial of their perfectly made potion. Congratulations! And due to Mr. Cabot's choice not to follow directions, negative ten points from Hufflepuff. Class may be dismissed. Oh no, that's horrible. Why? At least it's not our houses. I guess so. Well, we did it. We did, didn't we? Just like Professor Morgana said, we make a great team. We do, yes. Well, I better go check up on Ollie in the hospital wing. Would you mind if I tag along? I wouldn't mind at all, actually. After you. Fable, you forble wable. I think he's trying to say to you all thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more upcoming stories to our series Hogwarts Legacy Rise of the Ashes. And please don't be afraid to comment down below. It would mean the world to us, even if you just leave an owl emoji. Ollie, did you have anything else to say? Siebel label. Oh, Ollie, what are we going to do with you?